How many car shows are too many? Hi, it's Bud Wilkinson with some gripes about car shows. By the time all the cars get put away from winter, there will have been about 350 shows staged across the state, and I've been to nearly 50 of them. I do have some complaints though. Here are my top five. Number five, political ads. While most owners consider car events to be politics-free zones where we can all gather to enjoy a shared passion, there are the rare spoilers who inject political preferences through signage and other elements. Partisanship and campaign propaganda should be left at home. With the great divide in this country and all the hate and lies being spewed, car shows should be a place to get away from it. Number four, rising prices. While most shows raise money for charitable organizations, signs of price gouging are emerging. Many shows still only charge entry fees of $10 or $15, but quite a few have jumped to $20, and some have jacked their fees to $25 or more. One show this year put the gate fee at $40. Where does it stop, and when do owners start reducing the number of shows they attend or stop going altogether? Number three, trophy collectors. They're evident at every show. The owners who are just itching to get another cheap plastic statue that suggests their vehicle is special. We live in an every kid gets a trophy environment, but do adults need them too? We're supposed to be mature. I often hear about judging unfairness and friends rewarding friends. Do we really need more trophies that are ultimately gonna end up in the dustbin? Number two, organizations that have no business doing shows, but want to make a quick buck. In recent years, the number of car shows has sprouted like weeds. While many are well organized and run smoothly thanks to splendid volunteers, others use bad locations, are understaffed, and are clueless as to what works and what doesn't. I often get calls from folks asking how to stage a car show, and this year was no different. I'm now at a point where I say, don't bother, there are too many already. And my biggest gripe at number one, too many modern Corvettes, especially the current C8 mid-engine model. Seeing a car that can be found in dealer showrooms just isn't appealing. And despite its mid-engine, the C8 is too commonplace and not sufficiently expensive to be considered special. There was one show where a gaggle of new Corvettes showed up and took up maybe 20 spaces. By the time other vintage cars showed up, there was no room left for them. I say leave the C8s at home. There's no need for them. Those are my five complaints. If you have some others, let me know. Or if you have a comment about mine, feel free to leave a comment below. For Ride Connecticut, I'm Bud Wilkinson.